Hello again, everyone. As you can see, we're back at it. Uh, trying to get the wing ribs all finished up. As you saw in the last video, you know, it's just a lot of prep work with getting the wings, uh, all, all the wing ribs done uh, and ready for install. Uh, I would say budget, you know, about 50 hours uh, to pull vinyl off. <laughs> a little bit of a rough estimation there, but in all reality, um, I, I've spent so much time pulling off vinyl. Uh, my fingers are numb just from trying to get all that vinyl off of all these little pieces um, So as you can see, you know, and as we discussed prior you have to get, you know, all of the ribs straightened out and then deburring uh, or, or sorry deburred and you know, and then any other modifications that you need to do because there's several ribs that require specific modifications uh, to get them ready for install and uh, I would say at a minimum you need to budget about 10 to 15 minutes at least on each wing rib to get it ready as you can see here the the phone fell off the table while i was trying to video this um so yeah as you can see you know you got to go through and, and get them all straightened out and then trimmed up uh, with whatever you know whether the front tabs need to be removed or the rear tab and um uh, debar all of the lightning holes uh, as well as all the flanges and um of course, if you had to cut off that rear flange, you have to straighten out that, that back uh, area there, uh, which you see me working on now. So yeah, a lot, a lot of prep work with the ribs. Um, I had an issue with the main ribs. Uh, when I did my initial inventory of of all of the pieces in the kit, uh, I didn't pull the main ribs uh, completely out of the pack uh, because they come, you know, shrink wrapped all together. But I did check to make sure I had the right number of total total number of ribs, and I did verify that the ribs on the outside had both a left and a right main rib. Uh, well, that kind of bit me in the butt because as I pulled them all apart and started to work on the main ribs, I discovered that uh, Vans had sent me 21 left main ribs and only five right main ribs. So uh, I'm supposed to receive the rest of the main ribs in this week, the, the additional eight uh, right main ribs that I don't have and then that'll help me uh, and that'll get me caught up and allow me to start working on or finish working on the ribs and start mounting those onto the spars as you're going to see in later on in the video uh, I'm not going to start a priming war but the wings will be completely primed uh, and, and you're not going to you know you won't see the ribs in this video but uh, I do have all the ribs that I have have completed all primed up and ready for install I'm just waiting on those additional ribs that uh, was a mess up in the order so once we get those in we'll get that wrapped up but in the meantime I did move on um, away from the ribs to the flapper ons uh, which is the last section and the uh, the plans uh, for the wing kit or, or the assembly instructions for the wing kit here I am I'm dancing I'm uh, doing the the vinyl removal dance um, yeah, again, you're gonna spend a lot of time removing vinyl, but yeah. So I moved on and completed and working on the flaperons, and I completely butchered up a uh, a main one of the skins on the flaperons, the A1202 um, outboard uh, skin. As I was removing the vinyl, I just put just a little too much force trying to pull that vinyl off, um, and it unfortunately snapped the main skin. The outboard skin completely in half um, and you know that really thin thin skin and that vinyl is just tough as I'll be it to get off so it snapped the skin in half the good news is though my finishing kit is on order and uh, I will be receiving that skin in once I receive the finishing kit uh, in which you know it'll be quite a few months from now so um, hopefully by you know late summer we'll have we'll have the finishing kit in and, and hopefully the wings will be pretty much wrapped up by that point so here you can see working on those main ribs and just trying to get as much time as I can uh, it is tough to get out work on the plane you know the weekdays are just tied up with work so much and then once the kids get home in the evening it's just chaos in the house so uh, finding time is of the essence I uh you know, I think here I had like an hour in between meetings at work and I was just like, okay, I'm going to knock out as many main ribs as I can and get those done. Thankfully now I have them all done and uh, like I said, just waiting on those other ones. So here you can see working on the flaperons and you'll notice, hey, all the parts are primed. So um, I did prime the, when I did my empennage, I did prime the vertical stabilizer and the uh, stabilator. 
Um, and of course, in the fuselage, I only prime the scene areas. Um, kind of kicking myself with that now, but the wings will be primed up. Again, not going to start a priming war over it. I got a lot of questions about priming over the last couple of months, so uh, that answers your questions, and I'm not going <laughs> to really dive into why or why not I didn't. Um, I have my reasons, but uh, we'll just leave it at that. So uh, with that, you know, hope, uh, oh, we hit 251 subscribers in the channel. I cannot believe there's 251 people that enjoy watching this. Um, I, you know, I do this mainly just for me, but uh, with that, you know, uh, thank you all for watching and, and the comments and, and, and all of, um, you know, all of your help along the way. I've gotten uh, quite a few builders that have reached out to me and provided support. So thanks to all of you. And uh, with that, we'll see y'all soon.